morning, good day, good evening. Thank you for joining us today as we read Hamster Monster by Susan and Henning Lochlin. Let's get started. Deep in the forest lived three little hamsters. Max, who was the greatest, Paul, who was the smartest, and Minnie, the youngest and littlest. Oh, aren't they cute? Oh, aren't they ever cute? People would say whenever they saw the three hamsters. I've had enough, shouted Max. I don't want to be cute and sweet. I want to be mean and scary. Yes, said Paul. Let's be mean and scary. Count me in. Me too, cried Minnie. Me too, me too. Let's frighten people said Max. He threw himself into the mud and rolled around. Look how dirty I am! I look terrifying! Wow! cried Minnie. You look so scary! Max and Paul and Minnie romped about throwing mud at each other. They were having fun. Being muddy isn't enough. Paul had an idea. Come on, let's practice glaring. What's the point of staring? asked Minnie, always getting confused. But he watched the others and was soon glaring and making scary monster faces too. Max, Paul, and Minnie hid behind a tree and waited for somebody to walk by. Attack! yelled Max. He and Paul charged out, with Minnie chasing after them, shouting, Wait for me! Wait for me! Three filthy hamsters leapt onto the path, roaring loudly and making terrifying faces. But the man kept on walking. He didn't see or hear anything. What a disaster! Our faces weren't scary enough. We need to practice more, said Max. They sure scared me, replied Minnie. No, we need to think of something else, said Paul thoughtfully. Hmm, I know, we'll disguise ourselves. No sooner said than done. They scurried around collecting everything they could find on the forest floor. Dressed up in their wild disguise, Max, Paul, and Minnie waited behind the tree once more. A woman wearing a scarf strolled past. Attack! yelled Max. Grrr! Grrr! roared Paul. Oh no! squealed Minnie as he tripped over his costume. The woman hesitated for a moment, stopped, and then laughed. <laughs> and laughed before going on her way. She said, I've never seen hamsters in such funny costumes. So cute. We're not funny, and we're not cute, grumbled Max to his friends. 
We're terrifying hamster monsters! Yes, but we haven't actually terrified anyone yet, said Paul. Well, I was pretty scared, especially when I fell over, confessed Minnie timidly. Paul thought for a moment. It's our costumes. They need to be better. Max, Paul, and Minnie set off to make new disguises. As three boys came walking along the path, Max shouted, Let's go, gang! Paul was right behind Max. Minnie bumped into a tree. The three boys stopped, looked at one another, and then started roaring. <laughs> the hamsters panicked. Max jumped right out of his costume. Paul did a backflip, and Minnie leapt straight into Max's arms. We're just not having any luck, said Max. These guys have nerve. We always seem to bump into the wrong sort of people. Yeah, I bumped into the wrong sort of people and the tree, said Minnie, rubbing a big welt on his head. We're too little. That's why we're not scaring anyone, explained Paul. We need to be bigger. Let's build stilts and bigger, scarier costumes. This time, we'll do it. The hamsters got to work. Soon they were cutting, hammering, and drilling. Finally, their disguises were ready. Max, Paul, and Minnie hid behind the tree and waited. A little girl was wandering along the forest path. Attack! commanded Max, and yell as loud as you can! They staggered onto the path on their stilts and made a terrible noise. The little girl was so terrified, she took three steps backward and plopped down on the ground. We did it! cheered Max happily. We're the greatest! Yes, we are mean and scary at last! said Paul proudly. But their happiness didn't last long. <laughs> Listen, somebody is crying, said Minnie sadly. <laughs> the little girl was sobbing. The hamsters took off their costumes and crept toward the girl. <laughs> She stopped crying and stood up. With a sly grin, the little girl reached for her zipper. And with a zip, revealed that she was a wild, scary monster! Max, Paul, and Minnie were terrified and they ran away as fast as their little legs could carry them. What do you think of my amazing costume? shouted the monster, giggling to herself. <laughs> the three hamsters were safely back in their tree den. Why don't we go back to being 
little, cute, and sweet, asked Minnie. Being little is okay, admitted Max, but why don't we stay just a bit scary? Hmm, I've got an idea, said Paul. The end. Wow, those three hamsters, Max, Paul, and Minnie, they tried a lot to be scary. They tried by the sounds, the roars they were making. They tried by rolling around in mud and covering themselves with all different costumes. Then they made their costumes bigger. They are so brave. And then they finally met the monster. What a great story. I liked it a lot. You know, I never knew that hamsters wanted to be scary. Did you? Well, boys and girls, remember, go back into your books and take a look at all the wonderful drawings of the three hamsters. Good day, good morning, good evening, and thank you for joining us. And we will see you again soon. Thank you.